So why unbound being? Well, some people ask me sometimes, what is the uh, reason I chose the words unbound being? Well, first of all, we are beings, right? We are human beings. Whether the humanity is the greatest part or not, that's something that we will discuss later. But the being within the human is a divine spiritual consciousness, whatever you want to call it, a soul, an essence, a, a divine thing that is just free. It should be free. It's a being. And when it's being, it's emanating. When, when you're bound as a being, you can see it. You know, we're bound beings. And a lot of us are on this planet. We are being held back by a lot of factors, um, a lot of systems, but we're mainly held back by our own thoughts. And that's what I found in my own life, for example, that, you know, I had times where I was thriving, where I was succeeding in all the things I was doing, but also in the happiness, in the fulfillment, in the contentment, in the way that I was ex exploring all the possibilities and manifesting ideas. And there were other times where I allowed myself to focus on certain things, certain ideas, certain thoughts that would, you know, really destruct, destroy and, and have a destructive impact on my life. And I found that to be an unbound being one of the major and most important practices really that we can do, that we can apply on ourselves is a way of not looking at all those negativities. So on one way the unbound is a form of saying, you know, let's get these obstacles out of the way, which mainly is usually our own thoughts. For me, my thoughts at one time I was looking at the economy and, and the financial system being fraudulent and all, and looking at some of these earth changes and you know, possible greenhouse uh, effects and global warming and all kinds of things that are going on and at one point when you focus on that you know you get bound in those negative thoughts in those negativities in those depressing ways of looking at it so if we want to be unbound beings we don't want to be held back by our own mind but we also do not want to hold back by financial systems or religious systems or cultural systems and thought forms that are keeping us bound so to me, unbound being is a way of expressing not just the spiritual, but also the physical and the mental aspects of our being. Being alive, being present, being creative, being able to create things and manifest things and, and bring things into this world that are beautiful to bring into the world. And, and cooperating together as beings, interactively bringing the beauties and the ideas that we all have into manifestation, into a place that we could really call a beautiful planet. And that takes unbinding from these, these shackles, these ideas, these concepts, these things that are holding us back, whether it is self-made obstructions or, or man-made obstructions, society-made obstructions. But to be these unbound beings would be the, the thing most people want, most dissatisfaction in humans come from that one thing, that they feel bound, they feel something or another is holding them back, restricting their capacities to express themselves, restricting their, their true yearning and longing for a life that is full of zest and love and peace and harmony and, and compassion, and contributing to that and making a better world doing that. And it takes an unbound being, unbound from the physical, which means the unhealthy foods and the lack of exercise and unbound from the mental shackles which are the things that are keeping our own minds stuck because we're focusing on the negative and unbound in a spiritual sense which means that we are no longer bound by the draw of our mind the monkey mind urge to keep on thinking but instead so that we're able to return into the silence and the stillness which all masters that were real masters spoke of and still do. The state within, the state of peace, the state of silence, the state of stillness, the state of being at home, in your own being, just being, being alive, being in this moment. So unbound being really represents all of that. It represents all the steps that we can take, all the actions that we can undertake, all the, the possible teachings that we can have from all the people on this planet that have succumb, overcome, I mean, overcome to those things that were blocking them. And uh, that's really what Unbound Being is about. It's about taking those steps individually and becoming unbound.
so that we can finally be the beings that we were meant to be. So I hope you keep watching these videos. I'll be talking on a lot of subjects about being unbound and having an unbound being. And um, I hope you enjoy them. Take care.